That's William Bedford, a.k.a. Billy Bedlam. Mass murderer? The same. He caught his wife in bed with another man, left her alone, drove four towns over to his wife's family's house, killed her parents, her brothers, her sisters, even her dog. I love it when we go real fast and they never know what hit them. They never believe we're gonna run them down. We keep getting closer and closer. And faster and faster. They just stand in there. And here! We hit them. I love the sound of breaking bones. And the car driving over them, dragging their bodies. All oh, that beautiful blood. means you're a caveman, asshole. You're a fucking throwback. You've been spending too much time underground, huh? <laughs> That's okay, Steel. Throwbacks all got big dick. Who you call a jerk, you long hair, fat belly, goopy, tattooed, 60s throwback village people wanna be biker freak?
A guy broke into the house. Yeah. He raped you. You liked it. He died. I don't need human flesh.
what we call a global killer, the end of mankind. Wow, wow. 
Cutting away enough of the stash here to get your fingers in. And then grasping firmly with both hands, you pull the skin forward over the head. It's very much like peeling a large orange. <laughs> 
Once the skull is plainly visible, you take the bone saw and you cut around the perimeter. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the human brain. seen one goddamn psycho killer. <laughs> mother or monster. This 34-year-old was judged insane when she dropped her month-old son from an 11th story window. Her explanation, he looked too much like his father. Insanity also drove a young mother to commit this unspeakable act, the beheading of her own two-week-old son with a butcher knife in the kitchen of her home. Here we find a newborn strangled with a lamp cord, then placed in a grip by yet another murderous mother. She received a life sentence for this despicable act. Even worse were the many cases of infant murder where the children were cruelly discarded in alleys and ash cans and the shameless parents never apprehended. Sheer medical quackery claimed this young life. The parents of this one-month-old looked on horrified as a doctor treated the child with a faulty electrical device of his own design. This lovely five-year-old girl was throttled to death by her mother in a public park washroom. The mother was committed to a sanitarium, but later escaped. The most shocking case of this kind was the 1937 orgy of lust and terror the Albert Dyer case. Dyer coaxed three young girls, ages seven to nine, to a secluded spot in the woods and systematically raped, sodomized, and brutalized each. The most shocking case of this kind was the 1937 orgy of lust and terror, the Albert Dyer case. Dyer coaxed three young girls, ages seven to nine, to a secluded spot in the woods and systematically 
raped, sodomized, and brutalized each. When examining the ravaged youngsters, the coroners were aghast at the ferocity of the sexual attack. We also find that teenagers are not immune to the horrors of parental rage. This defiant lad was brutally beaten to death with kitchen utensils by a malcontent mother. It has often been said, one man's passion is another's poison. This is never more apparent than in matters of aberrant sexual practice. Witness the bloody handiwork of a mad dog rapist known as the Brick Bat Killer. His method was to smash his victim's face with a brick, place a pillow over the carnage, and then violate the woman's corpse. For this killer, the bloody trail of terror and death ended in the electric chair. Here we have the Red Rose murder. A young woman is brutalized and raped in a rose garden. Her back is stripped bare of flesh from the force of the attack. The killer received a life sentence in San Quentin. A sadistic slasher mingled sex and torture in the murder of this married woman in 1940. One year later, the killer died in the San Quentin gas chamber. In the pie van murder, authorities found this 25-year-old raped and bludgeoned in a delivery truck. Her 22-year-old assailant was convicted of manslaughter and sent to San Quentin. On an otherwise pleasant morning, a lovely young debutante is found murdered in a ditch. She had been molested and stabbed repeatedly in the neck and breast. Her killer was captured and died in the gas chamber. A 32-year-old Skid Row prostitute known as Chucky was stripped and killed in a downtown parking lot. Her assailant stabbed her 22 times and took flight. He was apprehended and given a life sentence. Another well-worn prostitute, appropriately known as Slim, was slugged, then throttled to death by a disgruntled customer who made a clean getaway. Abducted and dragged to a remote wooded spot, this young woman suffered hours of torment and abuse in a cruel game of cat and mouse at the hands of an unknown sex fiend. In the realm of pure criminal savagery, there's only one grade higher than the dreaded slasher. And until November of 1944, only one man in history had ever attained that gruesome title. His name was Jack. Jack the Ripper. But his spirit was born again in the black heart of a 31-year-old shipyard cook, Otto Stephen Wilson. His brief reign of terror produced ghastly images which readily rival those of his infamous namesake. Steve the Ripper's first victim was a 25-year-old he had met in a Skid Row bar. When they retired to her hotel room, the madman flashed a huge carving knife and went to work. There was two that were stabbed. The one had been missing for about six weeks. She had been stabbed somewhere at a 20 times to the upper part of her body. The medical examiner had said that as an indication of overkill, which is a lot of times they're acting in sort of a frenzy. It was like being in the middle of the worst
Take that as a compliment. Oh, because, really? You know, when a, when a woman vomits, you know, she has to get nauseous over something. And maybe, maybe I make women nauseous. I worship and praise you to vomit on me. Perky, in front of me or on me? Well, I maybe, in a way, I take that as a compliment. Oh, really? Because, you know, when a, when a woman vomits, you know, she has to get nauseous over something. And maybe, maybe I make women nauseous. Huh? In front of me, you're on. Molested and stabbed repeatedly in the neck and breast. Oh, my God. 